after fetching the water and praying around. After getting back to the Orisha house, they use those water to console the Orisha Beji and pray for the Ibe. This building is 89 years old, while some buildings here are like 100 years plus. In this old building, they buried their great grandparents. There. After the prayer and the consultation of the God, it's time to party. The party is always huge, it's always big. The next day is the beginning of another special event, which is for the twins. They have to pray for the twins through the Orisha pages and they will cook some beans, yam for everyone to eat. Then the food was so delicious. I tasted it, it's not like any other thing that I've tasted. They consult the Orisha Ibeji, they pray for the Ibeji. I get to see that this is how Yoruba has, has been doing their stuff for a very long time. Time to share the Ewa Beji. Ewa Beji is the beans prepared for the twins. So they cook it for the twins and they share it for everyone. Ya Beji will be the one to share the Ewa Beji. Mostly, they will need some people to take it around. Ya Beji mostly do the taking around. Ya Beji means the mother of the twins. Good morning everyone, how are you doing today? It's another day in this Orisha festival right here in Ejibu, Lagos State. This morning, I was told that they went to a river to get some water and they call it Olodotu. So, this morning, what they are doing today is Olodotu. And I asked what the meaning is and I was told that they went to fetch uh, Omi iPhone. Omi iPhone, iPhone translated to English means uh the water that you won't uh you won't speak or you won't talk or something before fishing so omi iphone that's what they went to get and then they will be parading around moving their drummers with them they'll be moving around the uh there are some places where their orisha is so they'll move dance around the place and then they come back here let me go around let me just show you a few things they're doing After fetching the water and praying around, after getting back to the Orisha house, they use those water to consult the Orisha Beji and pray for the Ibejis. And after that, they had to consult every Orisha in the whole building. This building is 89 years old, while some buildings here are like 100 years plus. In this old building, they buried their great grandparents there. So they consult them each and also appeal them. They talk to them through the school and and whatever is needed for them to do, to appease them or to give them so that things can keep going on smoothly for them, they will know. I believe it's just a way of knowing their great grandparents found peace and they can consult them so that if there is an issue or the other, they can let them know and they can appease them. This is part of your vast culture. <laughs> 
After everything has been done, they now consult the Orishas. They consult the Orishas, they worship the Orishas, and they give the Orishas what they need. In this case, they consult them through Kolanot as well. And whatever the case might be, or whatever the future holds, the Kolanot translates it to them. And after everything, they sacrifice whatever the Orisha asks them to sacrifice. For the sacrifice, they are mostly goat, ram, or chicken. After the prayer and the consultation of the God, it's time to party. The party is always huge, it's always big, and to my surprise, this is a very big family. It's a very big compound. People from different places came around, club, friends, children from abroad, from a very far distance. They have to come to celebrate. It's just like you coming together to celebrate a new year. The next day is the beginning of another special event which is for the twins. The twins are called Ibeji in Yoruba land and they are classified as a separate Orisha themselves. They have to pray for the twins through the Orisha Ibejis and they will cook some beans, yam for everyone to eat them. The food was so delicious. I tasted it, it's not like any other thing that I've tasted. They consult the Orisha Ibeji, they pray for the Ibeji. I get to see that this is how Yoruba has, has been doing their stuff for a very long time and civilization, colonialism and everything, religion has changed a lot of things in Yoruba land. If you're a Yoruba or you're from Nigeria or you're from Africa and you're wondering how some tribe does their things in the olden days, this is how they actually do it and some people still practice it till now. <laughs> Shabeji has been done. People who owns Ifa brought their Ifa out and prayer was said. They gave the Ifa what the Ifa name. Mostly Ifa has take big for sacrifice, while some request for guinea fowl or dog, and some doesn't request for anything blood, which they use snail and fruit. This is what African culture is all about, and I don't want you to see African culture as barbaric because the Africans have a deep root with their ancestors and a deep root with the soil. In this case, they are able to consult and they are able to get answers directly from the ancestors and from the gods. It's time to share the Ewabeji. Ewabeji is the beans prepared for the twins. So they cook it for the twins and they share it for everyone. And people will eat it with joy and happiness. Yabeji will be the one to share the Ewabeji. Mostly, 
they will need some people to take it around. Yabeji mostly do the taking around. Yabeji means the mother of the twins. <laughs>